I ain't messing up my nose. Got it all up in my eye. I don't like the aftermath of sage smell. I'm using a cold that I had it for a minute since last year. I had to use it because I don't like to um mention the names on the like that. Let me get three colors off of this. Big deck. It just shouldn't look like it want to come out. Smoky head. Ah, damn. Gotta open up some windows. Justice. Eight of Swords. And the Page of Pentacles. Something's gonna be balanced out. Somebody walked away from a situation. I'm not. I'm not getting. Huh. It's gonna be some changes around this bitch. That's what I'm getting. And I don't know. Somebody trying to act like they're the victim here with the eight of swords, or being blindsided about some some justice situation, court situation, or whatever's about to be balanced out in somebody's favor or something like that. I don't know. But something being restricted. But somebody was restricting someone from getting justice that they need or something being balanced out in someone's favor or whatever of whatever the case may be. But with the eight of swords, I'm getting like stuck in their mind or literally stuck and powerless of the of the situation. But don't worry because the um, card called for balance and justice and fairness, okay? So that's what I'm getting, okay? So something here was blocked or somebody trying to keep somebody stagnant or have someone feel like they was powerless over the situation here. Like, you couldn't find no way out of the situation. Like, somebody wanted to change the dynamic for somebody, like, they was a justice. Like, they the court of law. Like, they like God. Or, like, I wear the whole thing. Like, if you don't sit your little pathetic ass down somewhere. So, they, not only did they want you to be stuck mentally. But, actually, you really stuck. All right? And, and what I'm getting with the Eight of Swords is, they want you to go to jail. Because that would stop you from moving forward anyway. Like, it would stop you from progressing on to the next level or moving forward anyway. So, I'm getting the page of, of Pentacles here. This page represents someone young, a daughter, or or they're trying to stop some, a daughter, or this could be anybody. Oh, they're oh, they trying to stop someone from seeking balance. Okay, so page of pentacles represent funds, money, new job, raise, promotion, investment, your manifestation, an enterprise, a business, or something, or, or, or something. Or oh, you reach, okay, so you reach your goals. Mm. They're trying to stop your skill. They want the skill. They want to block the skills. They want you to stop this person from moving forward. Could be a Capricorn, I have to be. All right. We have Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. And I have to be. Let's see. Somebody's daughter. They're trying to stop somebody's daughter. Daughter? Ah, stop messing with my speech. For getting a new job or raise or somebody like I'm getting a lot of stories. Somebody definitely stuck in trap or going to jail. So whatever this new path is, they're gonna be their new path is jail. So I'm getting the first thing. They're trying to stop that actual female from moving forward. But this justice came out. The eight of swords represent jail. Yeah, that's the new jail. So they new jail. Okay. We have the uh, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. See, so this is a codependent person. It's a person not with money, with no money, no, no funds, uh, no, no plan, no direction. It's a codependent person. It's a codependent person. It's 
not a wise person. If you're a businesswoman, you don't do right, you know, unrational, you know, uh, things in there, mess, mess up your business, especially if you're trying to be an entrepreneur. All right? We have to, Bye, man. We have the magician. So this person thought, okay, so it's playing with spells. Okay, I hope this person do not sacrifice, you know, children to buy from it. All right. Give health and financial prosperity. Connects one safely with the vine. So yeah, this is um um I'm getting spells. I'm sorry, magician. I'm getting, I'm getting that. I'm getting as above, so below. I'm getting, you know, dark and enlightenment. I'm getting, you know, the yin and the yang. I'm getting dark arts. Trying to mix with something. That's what I'm getting. I'm getting, you know, the, the controller and the power. I'm getting wisdom and knowledge. Occult wisdom and knowledge. I'm getting, yeah, that's what I'm getting. We have the five of cups in here in reverse. So, this person's is not releasing, not burning, not feeling rejected, not feeling, you know, or not well, rejected, not feeling, you know, overwhelmed to the point where, you know, they're investing in their time, money, energy into whatever they invest in. You know what I'm, saying? I'm trying to think what I'm trying to say. So, the five of cups is not a regret. No, this person don't have no feelings. It's not. So this person's secret is not being revealed. And I'm not gonna say this person this this entity name. Um increase one's in intellect. Um spread um destruction by fire. So yeah, this person mass is not working. It's blocked. So this person begin to her get power. Yeah, yeah. Through manifesting or for others. Trapping them, keeping them stuck, blocking them, and using these entities or deities to be able to manifest. I said Baphomet, but I meant to say the devil, but Baphomet also, you know, takes in souls, children, especially children, um, babies um, as well. Newborn, little ones, babies as well, I think. I'm not sure, all right? I think, I'm not sure if I'm right about that, but something like that. The will of fortune, yes, yeah, I said it, the, your fortune, your destiny, your life, okay? Tells where treasures are hidden, reveal hidden danger. So this is person is definitely trying to find your destiny or trying to tap into your destiny or whatever the case may be, your fortune. They're trying to get these entities, the deity, to reveal any danger that was hidden for them to use against you. Okay. So a lot of these deities work on your behalf, or these entities work on your behalf, and these type of people who call on these individuals who give them your secrets or give them or give them some kind of um, danger. Or give them some kind of whereabouts, but they be playing around with these these um deities. This one says the king of swords in reverse is a liar. So these spirits are lying to these people. Trickster spirits. So maybe these spirits are guided to trick these individuals and give them some other things. Uh, to 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 help you guys out. All right. So they're dealing with a trickster spirit. They're dealing with the spirits and deities that are lying to them. Oh, well. It says, reveal knowledge of forthcoming battles and processors. What says processors? Process, wait, hold on, let me see. All right, of all, battles and procures the favor of Lord and King. Kings. Yes, yeah, so this, this this is not being revealed to them. It's that blocked. Okay, even spirit know how to play that game. Even the deities know how to play that game. Okay, so they thought that the spirit was rocking with them, but the deity was rocking with them. But yeah, they had a they having a tower. <laughs> Argument, falsehood, you know, 
give give a generous response and shit. It says the queen of swords. That's the truth here, okay? Speaking the truth here is what I'm getting. All right. You could learn. You could be learning gym, 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 geometry or geometra. Those who know about geometra, the codes and the numbers and stuff like that, you could be learning about that. But the Queen of Swords is speaking in goddamn truth. The Ace of Pentacles is dealing with finances and resources here. Okay, okay. So they was they, they thought that the spirit was giving them you know power over a certain individual, telling them there's a tricks of spirit. He dealing with it, yeah. It's an emperor, okay. The emperor about his fortune, about his money, okay. They block that shit, and a six of wands. This is public, yeah. Somebody in a in a in a, in a limelight. So these the, these spirits are working on behalf of your divine connection, your person of divine feminine and divine masculine, okay. Yeah. So these. Tricks of spirit has to take order by the higher, higher, higher source. It has to do with dealing with some kind of um, change here. Okay, it's what I'm getting. So they thought that these, these uh, tricks, these spirits or deity that was called upon was actually doing um, helping them at one once upon a time. But I guess they got a a call from whoever the guy from that their realm that you're dealing with your know, whoever they was calling upon these tricks of spirit got a the call from their guys the main one to um give them false narrative okay because who they was getting information on was of the light and they was attacking and using the sources from the spirits to get information from your person or you and your person collector all right so there's this tricks of spirit Amongst the, these karmas that thinking that, you know, it was informing these karmic about things. Yeah, these people want to wear your skin, okay? They literally, they literally are doing this, skinning people off and wearing their skins, okay? Hang man, they wouldn't even want to sacrifice you and living your, and living your life, living your skin, okay? That's what I want to get. Teaches natural and planetary science, light corpse, light above graves, and move body so the soul may be stolen. So they try to steal your soul. They try to sacrifice you. They want to wear your skin. That's the the purpose of them doing all this thing towards you. They really want to wear your skin. They really want to sacrifice you. They want you to steal your soul. Okay. They was doing all kind of light things, light corpse, graveyard things. Okay. It's what I want to get. They were they really, really want to wear the skin off of your body. Okay. They want there was a I, I feel like they want to they want your soul. They want to try to um body hot or snatch your soul. That's what they want. They really want to try to snatch your goddamn soul. Like shit, if I could wear the, if I could wear the collective skin with no problem, so be. We have the six of cubs. Teach heretic and languages. Gives one a good reputation. It makes one beloved by friends and foes. So this is the deity and that, that they was called upon. Okay. They had a, a spirit of around them that was projecting amongst the collectors to make people not like you. Okay, I'm not gonna say that's person, this deity name. I'm not gonna do that. So that was that's that was the plan. All right. So collective, if your person was hating on you, it was a it was a it was a a, a, a spirit that that was called upon that the comics was doing using. Okay, eight of swords. It says killed by drowning and drowning and can sink ships, control the seas and the wind will spare any life by request. So yeah, this is what the Dead Sea Day was focusing on. Eight of Swords, like I say right here, trapped, bound, you know, a harsh death, okay? Um, spirit of life um, once you conquer or con conquer these kind of type of deity. Uh, temperance, teach geometry and liberate science, make great noises and warns warm waters. So this temperance got to get to as well as bringing some kind of balance and situation here is what I'm getting. So maybe they wanted to drown this person. Maybe you had maybe this happened to you before. All right. Maybe they drowned you before. Collector. In some kind of water. Because I know sometimes I can't breathe with my nose and my neck. Like you know, hard breathing. So maybe it's something with the water, or something with the um, the air, or some kind of air 
That's what I'm saying. I died by fire before. I mean, I had tragedy after tragedy after tragedy. It's a damn shame, man. But you would think. What's about a queen of cups? Because you all love it. You are the queen of cups. And your masculine is the queen. I mean, the king. The king of cups. He could definitely be in his queen of cups energy as well. Uh, collective, all right? Teach all signs. Perform wonderful poetry. Follow all requests with excellence. Yeah, this is you. You like the peacock. Could be a Pisces. I don't know. Like a peacock. All right. This is your message. You must, must have experienced this before. Okay. So yeah, they're trying to somehow stop a situation or a person from moving forward. All right. Now I gotta get into that magician box for me because I'm trying to see if that's the the devil or. Do Baphomet collect souls like young children? I'm not sure about that, but I will look up, look it up, look it up. Excuse me, online. All right, so. I know the other occult cards, they had a, they had those that um, were re read the virtual. This is, this is a small one, so. I don't know why all the, all the cards are different. So I'm like, damn, why don't you just make a card that. Oh, no, that's Lucifer. I'm not going to say these names. I'm not. There is a deity that collects babies and stuff. I, I think I got it wrong. I'm not sure if it's um what I just said. But um, there is a deity, but I'm not going to say the names if I'm right about that. Okay, it's something like that. All right, should have made all the cards where it can read reversals as well. So whatever, collecting. I'm a lock up. All right, peace out, y'all.